Billy Fires and her husband Greg Shepard have reportedly splashed out an eye-watering £20,000 on trees for their new Essex mansion. The couple, who are in the midst of renovating their dream home after spending £1.4 million on the property, have reportedly spent thousands on laurel trees to help improve security and privacy. The pair's foliage budget comes close to Mark Wright and his wife Michelle Keegan, who themselves spent £30,000 on trees for their dream home in the county. Billy and Greg had around 80 laurel trees, which cost around £240 each, delivered to their property, with each able growing to heights between 15 feet and 35 feet. The star offered a glimpse of the trees being planted on her home renovation Instagram account. Mail Online has contacted a representative for Billy Fires and Greg Shepard for comment. Back in November Mark and his wife Michelle splashed out a huge sum on similar trees for their Essex mansion, after ordering 60 bay trees to surround their home at a cost of between £500 and £1,000 each. In a video shared on Instagram, Mark told his fans, We've got a delivery of some hedging and some boundary hedging for privacy. They look big and beautiful. Look at the size of them. Work began on Billy and Greg's house in January 2021 following months of delays due to planning rows with their new neighbors. Last year, Billy admitted she's not speaking to the neighbors at her new property in Brentwood, after they opposed the couple's plans to demolish the original rundown house and replace it with a five-bed palace. Bridges haven't been built since they won planning permission in August 2020 with Billy saying, We've not seen anyone. But it's just not a great start, is it? She continued of the home, which was constructed in the 1920s, the house is so old, whoever was going to buy it was going to have to renovate. There's only one neighbor to the side of us and he had a lot of reasons as to why he didn't want us to go ahead, but it was getting a bit silly in the end. It's been a very long journey already and it's about to get even more pressurized once the builders start work. According to the planning application, all five bedrooms will be on the first floor with the ensuite master bedroom having a huge dressing room. Three of the other ensuite bedrooms will have walk-in wardrobes. Greg has been allowed to add a man cave, converting the original garage into a gym and games room, and there will be a playroom for their two children. They're also adding a two-story side extension, single extensions to the front and rear, and completely re-landscaping the outside space. Billy admitted in March she wouldn't have bought the abode if she knew the headache it would be. She said, now someone else has also said to us that we should probably think about knocking the house down and start all over again it's just becoming one thing after another. We're nearly a year in now. It would have been nice to know that like six to eight months ago because if we are going to knock the house down it means we're going to have to reapply for planning permission and start this process all over again. I don't regret buying the house but if I had known it would have taken this like, like over a year to get to find a builder, I probably wouldn't have done it because I just was so unaware of how long things take.